Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come! Let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands! Uh... Is she talking about us? I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the... <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was... uh. How should Paimon describe it? A little... over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Archon? How did you know we were coming? Ah, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. <laughs> Oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say then? Uh... Is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course! That's the blonde traveler! The one all those stories are about! Lady Farina came here to personally see her! Oh, I bet this is gonna be the duel of the century! Ooh, I've got to see this! I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint! Too excited now! My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy, and despite the noise, 
I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? What are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorend. I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement! Oh, yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. They're getting a bit old, to tell the truth. You see... Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Ooh, all right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's Our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Ta-da! What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Huh? <laughs> you call that magic? You've got to be joking. 
<laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! <laughs> 